Now let's get up to speed with Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds! The king of the netherworld fast approaches! And when he arrives, you can be sure that all you see around you will be destroyed, so that I can create a new world to rule! Now, Junk Archer, let him have it! Attack Goodwin directly! You just set off my trap, offering to the Immortals! And there's more! My Earthbound Immortal will be on the field soon! Soon being right now! Come forth, Weira Kotaraska! The spirits! He's taking them! No, he's using them to power up that monstrosity! Now then, where were we again exactly? About to route you say's life points! Don't think so! I play my face down card! Life exchange! With this trap, if life points change due to a card effect, I become the new target of that effect! It's easy to be brave when you're a fool! We're a Coach Araska. Reduce Crow's life points to one! Ah! Oh no! Crow! He's done for! It'll be worth it. Just you wait and see, good one. Ah. Crow! You'll be avenged, old friend. Go, Red Dragon Archfiend! Attack that Sun Dragon Enti! Go, Scorching Crimson Flare! I warned you that your fates were sealed. But they are. Just as the fate of the entire world is sealed as well. All that you've said done, it means nothing. Doomsday is finally here. Time has all but run out. The signers have failed. off those minions all you want. But the king of the netherworld will still arrive here at this ancient temple and know that when he does, the world as you know it will be gone. Not if we win this match. Yeah, that's right. So quit your blabbing and let's finish this. I'm on it. Jack's field is empty. That means Goodwin's gonna be aiming for him. I reveal my trap card, Fiendish Chain. This negates Sun Dragon Inti's special ability and makes it so it can't attack or be sacrificed. Yes, now that Sun Dragon won't be able to attack Jack's life points. But wait. Oh, little Jack, so much to learn. This is what happens when you give up your loner ways, as you put it. You make careless mistakes, and now you'll pay for them, and pay dearly. Of course, the irony in all of this is that even though you've committed yourself to your friends, you'll be paying this price all alone. Do you know what I speak of? 
I'm speaking of the moment you face your doom. That's not good. And that very moment is now at hand, Jack. Sorry, but your so-called friends can't save you. Because I activate Earthbound Immortal Weiracocha Roska's ability. Now I skip my battle phase and your life points fall to one. <sighs> Unleash your fury, Roska! <sighs> oh no! If I have 1,000 or less life points, Fiendish Chain gets destroyed! Yes, that's right, Jack. And that means my Sun Dragon Inti is free! And the king of the netherworld is that much closer to laying waste to this wretched world! Quick, run for it! Ah! Jack, all your friends, useless. You're done for. I may be, but that's why the bond we share is so important, because our cause continues to live on. Oh no, Jack. You say, I can't continue. But that doesn't mean that I checked out of this duel. Know that I'll be there if you need me, old friend. And that goes for me too, you say. The two of us may be down for the count, but if you find yourself in a jam, just think of us. You can do it, you say? We believe in you! Do you see, Goodwin? We're still strong! Please, you're still trying to act like you're all in this together? All right, then prove it! I place one face down and end my turn. Now let's see how strong you are. <sighs> my draw! First, I'll activate Junk Archer's special ability. Now, once per turn, I can remove one monster from play. And this turn, I choose to remove Sun Dragon Inti! A fine plan. If only I didn't have this, the Trap Passion of Baimase! It negates your Archer's ability and then destroys him outright. Hmm. Then I guess I'll just have to summon Shield Warrior in defense mode! Then I'll throw one card face down and end my turn! That's your proof of the power of friendship? One monster cowering on his knee in defense mode? <sighs> oh, poor you say you disappoint me so. Uh, and besides, it's pointless to defend, especially against my Earthbound Immortal. But don't take my word for it, I'll show you! My draw! And my turn to show you what real power is! <sighs> First, I activate Roska's special ability. Now, by skipping my battle phase, your life points are lowered to one. <sighs> Strike with all your might, Roska! <laughs> oh no! You say! <laughs> now the three of you have but three life points. If you're smart, you'll beg me for mercy! <laughs> What are you waiting for? Start groveling. No chance. I'm still planning to win this. <gasps> I may only have one life point left, but I can still ride my runner and that means I can still duel. You just don't know when to give up. You got that right. My turn. And first I'll activate Angel Baton from my hand. And since I have two or more speed counters, I get to draw two cards from my deck. Now I pick one to keep and one to send to my graveyard. Next, I'll summon the tutor monster, Debris Dragon! And since Debris Dragon was called out, I'm allowed to bring back a monster from my graveyard, as long as it has 500 or less attack points. So I bring back you, Sonic Chick! And now I tune my level four Debris Dragon with level one Sonic Chick and level three Shield Warrior to synchro summon Stardust Dragon! Let's rev it up! That beast doesn't have enough attack points to make any difference. Wrong! Like I said, this beast is like the bond we share. Wait, what do you mean? I mean I'm using the effect of the trap crow left behind. Blackwing Anchor! 
<laughs> now, by sending Blackwing Anchor to the graveyard, Stardust Dragon's attack points increase by 2,500 for this turn. What? That's why Crow released Blackwing Armor Master with his last move. Not for himself, but for the team. And now, since Stardust Dragon is stronger than ever before, I'll have him attack Sun Dragon Ink Team! Foo! Any monster that destroys Inti is also destroyed. And then you take damage equal to your monster's attack points. Actually, Goodwin, that's exactly where you're wrong. Thanks to Stardust Dragon's special ability, if I release him, then Inti's effect is negated. It's a little something I like to call Victim Sanctuary! That's all well and good, you say, but have you forgotten? Whenever Sun Dragon Inti is destroyed, I'm then allowed to resurrect his counterpart from my graveyard. Come forth, Moon Dragon Quia! Not this time, Goodwin. <sighs> Wait, is that Jack's card? Told you, Goodwin. Our bond is powerful. Thanks to Jack, I now play the trap Conquest of the Supreme Ruler. Now, by sending this card to the graveyard, you're no longer allowed to summon Moon Dragon Quia. No, but but nothing. And now, since I'm ending my turn, Stardust Dragon resurrects from my graveyard. Welcome back, friend. Goodwin, I warned you about the power of the bond between us all. Now, perhaps you'll finally believe me. No, I refuse. There's no such thing as people sharing a bond. Maybe once I thought that there could be. But now I know better, and the only thing I believe in is the power of my two marks! That's not true. I know you're still connected to Roman. What? That's why you built that bridge, because he trusted you and you wanted to fulfill his dreams. Maybe you failed, but I know there is still that dream in you. I know you two still share that bond. Roman. And you get more strength and power from him than with those two marks. <sighs> no, it's not true. You're lying trying to confuse me so you can win. But it won't work. The king of the netherworld approaches, and you three only have one life point left each to stop him from destroying this miserable world and leaving me all powerful. You're doomed. Ride as fast as you can, you say, but there is no escaping your fate. You and all your friends shall be sent to the netherworld! <laughs> it's my turn now! And your turn, you say, to lose! Earthbound Immortal! Attack, you say, directly! With one life point left, now may be a good time to say goodbye! Unleash your fury, Ruska! You say, huh? Quickly! My card! Use it right now! That's right! You threw a face down during your last turn, didn't you? Again, Goodwin! The strength of our bond is proven! And now I activate the Trap Scrub Raid! This allows me to put an end to this turn's battle phase, simply by sending a card of my field to the graveyard! Which means your Earthbound Immortal can't attack! <sighs> In that case, I activate the Trap Meteor Flare. Now, by sending two cards in my hand to the graveyard, you're dealt 2,000 points of damage. Wrong, because I activate Joint Future. With this, I send one card in my hand to the graveyard, and your trap's effect is negated. Maybe, but Meteor Flare still gets sent to the graveyard, which means, since it's still the draw phase of my turn, I'm allowed to add it right back to my hand. Afraid not, Goodwin. Any card whose effect is negated by Joint Future is returned to the deck, which is then shuffled. What? <sighs> I end my turn. Do you see? Again and again, the power of friendship triumphs. Now let the power of your brotherly bond triumph too. Be quiet! The bond I shared with my brother is long gone. You're wrong. There are certain bonds that last for eternity. Believe me, 
I know. And I know that you do too, Goodwin. <laughs> After all, your brother trusted you to do the right thing. Trust like that may be easy to ignore, but not to forget. Go on, Goodwin, and take a look deep down into your heart. I'm telling you, Roman is still there. You just have to listen to him. My brother. Oh, Rex. Wait, Roman! Is that...? What?! Our marks! They're back! The mark of the Crimson Dragon! It's giving us power like never before! The mark of the Dragon Head is with me?! What in the world? No fair! I was the chosen one! I had the markings of both the light and the darkness! Perhaps, and yet beneath them, the Crimson Dragon saw that you still honor your brother's memory. So now the Crimson Dragon is a part of me! You say! You did your part, Goodwin, and now I'll do mine! My turn! First, since Stardust Dragon is on my field, I'm allowed to summon the Stardust Shaolong that's sleeping in my graveyard. And then I summon Majestic Dragon! Not that, no! Next, I tune level one Majestic Dragon with level eight Stardust Dragon and level one Stardust Shaolong! Whatever it is that you say is doing, you better do it quick! I harness all the power of the stars! I channel all the might of the dragons! I synchro summon the Majestic Star Dragon! Majestic Star Dragon is a level 10 dragon type monster with 3,800 attack points and 3,000 defense points. And now, I'll use his ability! It negates the power of your immortal! What? And then I reveal my trap card, Synchro Baton! Thanks to this, for every Synchro Monster that's in our graveyards, I can increase the attack points of one Synchro Monster on my field by 600. So since there are four Synchro Monsters in our graves, Majestic Star Dragon gains 2,400 attack points! And he gains the distinction of being the toughest monster on the field! You know what that means. Earthbound Immortal Raska is going down. Go, Majestic Star Dragon, Star Shine Shred! <sighs> I've lost. It's over. <laughs> now set your sights on the King of the Netherworld! Riker. Goodwin? Is it really you? Not just me. Hello, brother. I'm so happy to see you again. It feels as though it's been an eternity. Indeed. You were right, you say. Deep down inside, I was still honoring my brother's memory. Where are we? In between the light and the darkness, you say. A place of peace, and it's all thanks to you. The bonds we form really are all that matter in life. You say, take care of them. Their place is back on Earth. Now if you'll excuse us, my brother Roman and I have some catching up to do. Shall we? But wait! Huh. Ah! 
What's happening? Majestic Star Dragon is reversing all the damage that the King of the Netherworld did. Oh, it's all so pretty. Guess there's just one little thing that remains. What? Uh, where's the Majestic Star Dragon taking Jack, Crow, and Yusei? Guys, I got a postcard in the mail from Misty the other day. As usual, she's busy as ever. <laughs> oh, and I meant to tell you I heard from Gregor and Callan. They say hi. It sounds like they're having a great time. Anyone here from you say Jack or Crow? Huh? No, and I've looked everywhere for them. What? Huh? <gasps> How can I write my story if they're not around? All of this signer stuff is my ticket to a Peabody! Why don't you just interview yourself? You were there too. I'll tell you why. It's because I don't remember one second out of the whole thing. Some kind of magic memory brainwash, I guess. It's so frustrating! <laughs> On the bright side, at least you have your brain back and you're not prancing around as a scary dark signer. I was a dark signer? I know the others must be worried, but I have a feeling they'll understand. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. I mean, just look at it. Makes what we went through all worth it. Sure does. Finally, satellite and city are one and the same. Maybe one man can't build a bridge, but a team of friends sure can. Right, but our work's not done yet. There are plenty more bridges out there that need building. In that case, what are we waiting for? Let's rev it up, guys! And let's do it together! 